Hey everyone, we're going to talk about the eight actual causes of edema, okay? Edema is swelling in the lower extremities, in your ankles, in your feet, and you see people all the time with this, and I just want to kind of dig into what's behind it. Um, there's some things that are more common, but I want to give you all the potential causes. One, actually, it's not as common, but if you're very low in protein, let's say, for example, you're even on keto and you don't consume enough protein, you could start to have a problem where your, your ankle starts swelling up. Yeah, so low protein in the blood, and the protein in the blood is called uh, albumin. If that's low, then the water accumulates in around the cells. So you just need to add more protein to the diet or improve the digestion by adding more uh, betaine hydrochloride or apple cider vinegar to digest the protein. All right, number two, low vitamin B1. A B1 deficiency is called beriberi, and a lot of people have a B1 deficiency because they're consuming too many carbs or alcohol or tea or chocolate or various things. I did a whole video on that. But if you're low in B1, okay, even subclinically, and sometimes it doesn't really show up in a blood test because it's not quite a major thing, but it's just low, uh, then you can get um, swelling in the ankles, okay, in the feet. So it's real simple. Take nutritional yeast and or B1. Boom, problem solved. All right, three, low potassium. If you're not consuming enough greens, then where's your potassium coming from? You need 4,700 milligrams every single day. So you have to figure out how you're gonna get that. There is some potassium in meat, like, a, like for example, a chicken breast has like 300 milligrams. But again, you need 4,700. So I like to get it from vegetables. Especially if you're doing like junk food, uh, fast food, you're gonna get a lot of sodium and very little potassium. Now, if you're salt sensitive or you're, um, you have too much sodium, instead of actually reducing sodium, increase potassium. So if you were to consume very high potassium foods, like, believe it or not, beet tops have the highest amount of potassium. Pistachios have a lot of potassium. Avocados have a lot of potassium. Greens, kale has a lot of potassium. So we, we beef that up no pun intended. And then what happens is your, your swelling comes down because when you increase potassium, you decrease sodium, okay? And sodium retains water. So that will help. And by the way, um, usually down here, diabetes is another cause. If you have diabetes, you're gonna usually be low in potassium and be one, and that could be why you're retaining fluids. So you wanna address this with healthy keto intermittent fasting. But if you're a diabetic or have insulin resistance or you're pre-diabetic, you're going to hold fluid, um, just the nature of uh, glucose. If you have too much glucose in the body, you're going to basically have like a fluid-filled sponge and you're going to hold fluid. The heart, if the heart is um, dysfunctional, if you have heart disease, you, you're usually going to have swelling on the left ankle or foot, okay? So what causes this? Many things, but <laughs> diabetes or high insulin or sugar will do it, okay, eating junk foods. Um, so you would wanna do something to improve the heart. I have a lot of videos on that. Your liver, if your liver is dysfunctional, you have either a fatty liver or cirrhosis, uh, chances are you're gonna have swelling more on the right uh, ankle and foot, okay? But that can also cause a problem too. So there's, I have videos on what to do if you have a liver uh, problem. Um, I would say the best way to know if you have a liver problem is just look down right now. And if you have a gut, okay, if you can see your gut, you have a liver problem um, because that's a fatty liver. So you can get an ultrasound, it'll pick it right up. But in order for you to start getting that visceral fat, the liver usually is uh, filled with fat and then it spills over into around the organs in the visceral. So you can't see it unless you do an ultrasound and there's very few symptoms unless you, it gets to the later stages. Kidney, you have two kidneys, if they're a problem, you're going to have swelling on both, both sides. Um, a lot of people have kidney problems if they're a diabetic, okay? So again, that could be the reason why you're, you have swollen ankles and feet. The, I mean, the real answer to all of these is to get your eating corrected. There's so many people focusing on the symptom, like edema, but they're not getting the food corrected. And that's what I recommend. Of course, you've heard this a million times, healthy keto and intermittent fasting. You knew, I, you knew I was gonna say that, right? Okay, mixed edema, what is that? It looks like swelling, but it's puffiness. It's not actually fluid, it's a waste product. It's a little bit different, uh, but you'll see these people with like really big ankles. And this is a, uh, a thyroid problem, a slow thyroid. And because the thyroid is so slow, it retains this certain uh, 
this byproduct, I'm not going to give you the technical name, and that can make, it, make you look like you have edema. Okay? So you'd want to address hypothyroid issues. Do a search on that. I have a lot of videos on that. Okay, and then we have blood sugar issues, diabetics, pre-diabetics, people with insulin resistance. You're going to have fluid because of the nature of the retention of sodium, and then comes the water. Now, if you actually have any of these conditions and you drink a lot of water, what happens is you're going to retain more fluid unless you get rid of the sodium and or increase the potassium. So um, taking more potassium or electrolyte that has a lot of potassium will push this fluid out, but you want to get to the root cause. So I put a link down below for what I believe to be the best electrolyte. But if you have edema, you must fix your diet. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.